In September 2020, Tunga Maje was attacked. A number of the residents abducted and the people had to raise the ransom demanded by the kidnappers before the abducted members were released. They fingered Fulanese for that kidnap. The Monday's attack and the kidnap was deterred in less than one year. The speaker of the community, Adamu Mohammed, who represented the Emir, said that the present attack has created fear among the people. He said, however, that the Emir and the police are working to secure their release. The wife of one of the victims, Rachel Okuri, said that the kidnappers came around 2 a.m. in the night and were shooting sporadically in the air. The kidnappers then scared the fence into their compound and when they refused to open the door, they broke it down, demanding for money and eventually taking away her husband. According to her, she has not heard from her husband since, but has heard from the kidnappers who are now demanding for undisclosed ransom through one of the residents. Macy Owalabi, wife of another victim, said that the kidnappers broke their window protector and though she gave them the money in the house, they still took her husband away. And after two, I see someone jump through things. So before I wake up, they have already fresh us light inside, touch. So before they said I should open, should open the door. So I was very shocked. I sit inside, they bleed the door, the potato. I'm black inside and they are coming inside. They said that we told you to open the door. People don't want to open it. We are just looking at them like that. You see, where the money? I said, which money? You see, where the check? I said, oh, we don't have check. Oh. It's okay. Then first even collected my phone and my husband's phone. So they asked him to follow them. No, we have from the cleaner power, so both my husband's you know. Because of money then came, sir. It's because of money. When they enter my house, they first of all break my potato. So they enter through, they, they went to my window and tear my uh, nets and break the potato. That is when my husband had stand up and open door for them. Enter straight to my room. And they, they say, where is your money? Where is your set? Where is your money? I said, I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have set. So only the money that I have in my hand, I want to travel that on Tuesday. I lost my uncle. Even the money, I went and borrowed it. Then I collected the money and take my husband and go with his uh, senior brother that came and visit him. The secretary to the Emir of Tungam Maje, Abdul Wahid Nan Nabi, said that the Monday's attack was the fourth kidnap incident in the community. According to him, after the police deployed eight mobile police officers in the community, which one of them was killed and one vigilante injured in the latest attack. On Monday night, we heard that our kidnappers come to this community, Tungamaje. We they tried to invalidate some area like Anguan um, Kwaso and uh, Anguan, some parts of Anguan Joka. Though we, I received a call from the OC, that is Officer of Charge of Police in Tungamaje, to inform the village head that this is what the encounter of kidnappers in Tungamaje community and they go away with, <coughs> with four people and uh, <coughs> gone, there was a uh, mobile police that was be sh that has been shot and a uh, vigilante man though the mobile police was dead and also uh, the vigilante man is injured and still is still on hospital taking treatment this is almost uh, four times that this thing is taking place in Tungamaje. Tungamaje is a community in Bagulada Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory and is located on the busy Bagulada Zuba Expressway leading to both Niger and Kaduna State. In Abuja, I am Obi Chibweze for Signature TV.